Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Has to Stop the Fire, and I'm here to do love readings for the month of June. Now, I haven't done a love reading in a long time. I've probably only done them once before, and so um, I'm just I just kind of made this spread up off the top of my head and just going with it, and we'll see what comes from it. Um, but I do see the wedding card here. Um, religious factors. I don't know if I told you, but I'm uh, currently on the sign of Sagittarius, so we're about to get into uh, you guys' love energy here. Um, but let's uh, um, get into it. Divine forces of unconditional love. What does the sign of Sagittarius need to know for their highest good in regards to love? In the month of June, what do they need to know for their highest good? We're going to get their energy, we're going to get the divine feminine energy, and we're going to get the divine masculine energy, and then we're going to get uh, how you guys feel about each other. Um, only energies of love, light, peace, wealth, health, and prosperity are allowed in this space right now any lower vibrational energies i send you away with love and light but you are not welcomed in this space spirit i ask for clear and accurate messages and i give you thanks in advance thank you thank you thank you so the divine feminine energy we have in calling in your soul mate finances and career uh, Romantic feelings is, you know, the energies that you both feel about each other. Um, it is safe to love and passion here for the divine uh, masculine energy. And I did just do um, Capricorn's reading, Sagittarius, and they had, it is safe to love. It is safe for you to love on the divine feminine energy. So you could be... Um, in a relationship with a Capricorn. Um, you both share romantic feelings towards each other and it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Um, and you're feeling a lot of passion towards your mate, your person. Um, your divine feminine is calling you in on her end. You know, she's praying, she's using affirmations and visualizations to help bring you two together. But in the meantime, she's working on her finances in her career. Financial financial issues are a factor in your in her in the in her love life right now, um, and how she's feeling. And overall, energy is release your ex. So Sagittarius, you could be needing to release an ex. Your uh, soulmate could be needing to release their ex so that they can um, truly be with the person that they're destined to be with, which is you. But there's a lot of passion here um, from both ends. And Spirit is saying it is safe for you to love. But it's not going to be safe until you release your ex, Sagittarius, or Divine Masculine. Okay. Wow. Twin flames on the Divine Feminine side. And we have Surrender. Okay. We have only time will tell and trust. It says allow your heart with the passion card. It says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and then trust. It says transformation occurs through acceptance of this passion that you have. Uh, once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Accept that you love this person. <laughs> you know, accept that it's time for you to release your ex. And of course, if you release your ex, things may not go the way you want them to. But you got to take that leap of faith, you know. The relationship may work. The relationship may not work. But either way, spirit is pulling you away from that ex because there's some stagnancy there. You know, your passion may be stagnant. You know, it says allow your heart to sing with joy. Maybe your heart isn't allowed to sing with joy right now because of um, because your energy is clouded with you know the energy of an ex. Because in the on the uh, release your ex card, it says the time has come to clear your energy. It's time to release that ex. 
okay? Alright. So let's get all the cards out here. All the cards that's going to be used. One more time. I do see the palm tree card here. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Healthy choices as well. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. You know, that comes with you releasing your ex. Um, divine, um, masculine, and feminine, perhaps, because it's part of the overall energy. Uh, Do it one more time and then I'll lay these out and uh, get the messages. Oh, I see you wedding rings. All right, overall energy we have the dragonfly, and then also says your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. This card came out in Capricorn reading on the divine feminine side so Sagittarius your divine feminine could be a very spiritual person as I do see the dragonfly here and for me uh, as a reader dragonflies represents the spirit realm you know uh, ancestors spirit uh, angels and things like that just cleansing the energy um, but yeah dragonflies represent that for me but in this here reading on um, this card it says be lighthearted be lighthearted find out finding out things coming to light adapt change and heal and then and here you go a lot of the cards that was in the Capricorn reading um, it's coming out here because it says if you can do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart and not your mind this came out for the masculine um, energy in Capricorn's reading and here it is coming out as the overall energy and the Sagittarius reading so Sagittarius men you could be dealing with um, well this is your energy but again it came out in Capricorn's reading so you could be dealing with a Capricorn but the answer dwells in your heart and not your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul Spirit is saying, really think with your heart and not your mind. Maybe this ex that you're with, um, maybe you guys have a lot of financial things um, tied up within each other. But Spirit is saying, that's you thinking with your mind uh, and not your heart. Spirit wants you to trust the passion. Trust what allows your heart to sing with joy, divine masculine. If, uh, but it says here, release your ex. So obviously your ex is not it. It says it's time to clear your energy. So let's get into the reading here. The divine feminine energy um, is calling in your soulmate. Uh, prayers, affirmations, or visualization helps to bring the, your you two together and then we have twin flame your passion ignites and then we have passion over here for the divine masculine uh, supporting that it says I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fit how to fix it supported here by girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so and then we have here finances and career for the divine feminine. Uh, it says financial financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And then surrender. It says at time we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Um, supported by I need to figure, I need more time to figure things out. And then wedding rings. It says union, wedding marry 
um, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So, I mean, there's a lot going on here, but your divine feminine is truly, tr is truly focused on getting herself together financially, spiritually, and within her heart. Okay. And this could be you speaking to your, your divine feminine. I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. And girl talk, you know, you may see your, your, your divine feminine, you know, having fun, chilling out with her, chilling with her friends and everything. And, and you're like, I, how could you even still love me <laughs> after all I've done? here and so you don't even know if, if she's you know checking for you Sagittarius but she is she's checking for you she's um, having fun she's just you know in the energy of balance she's in the energy of surrendering and just allowing things to come to her um, allowing things to manifest as they come you know she's figuring things out as time goes but she does still see you as her soulmate she does still see you as twin flames and we do have here the energy um says your intensity frightens me and allures me all at the same time you divine masculine know how strongly your divine feminine feels about you um so on the divine masculine side here it says it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive um the highest energy of all which is love Supported by only time would tell. Also supported by how could you still love me after all I've done? And then healthy choices. Making healthy choices in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. You know, you see uh, the divine masculine sees this divine feminine. You know, maybe living her best life. Hanging out with her homegirls with the girl talking. You know not understanding or not or wondering if uh, his divine feminine would still be there for him as you know I do again it says release your ex maybe you've taken too long with your ex and to come around to her but we also know that there's a lot of passion here you know you may have had her chasing you because we do have the chaser card here codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues you know, underneath that outdated thinking. So there was an issue that happened between you guys in the past, but spirit is guiding both of you to release it. You know, because in you in your guys' uh, overall energy, we have I have here the past is now the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith, supporting the romantic feelings. You guys both have romantic feelings. You both have probably, most likely, <laughs> according to this past, not behind you, have done things to each other that was not of the best, you know? Supporting that is lying was just easier for me than telling the truth. You know, maybe there were some lies going on. Um, maybe you guys weren't really divulging your true feelings for each other. And then look at here. I have the, the uh, King of Wands energy, which is, you know, Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles come out, which is the Capricorn, uh, Virgo, or Taurus energy. And I was just saying that the combination was in uh, the Capricorn reading. Or you could be, you know, dating another Earth sign, uh, Virgo or Taurus. But then we have here the Five of Swords and then the Five of Pentacles. Again, this, I mean, not the Five, it's just the Five of Cups, which is the Five of Cups is not crying over spilt milk anymore and overcoming the energy of abandonment with the Five of Pentacles here. And then we do have here the Chaser card. Um, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. So your um, Sagittarius are overcome, is overcoming this abandonment issue, you know? 
overcoming the feeling of being abandoned and knowing that it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to open your heart and to, to allow your heart to sing and, and soul to sing with joy and surrendering to this process. Trusting that transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Um, supported by seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with exactly seeing this your 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 soulmate is you know allowing you to see that you're not living your you're not allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy because you know this person is what does that for you but you're still holding on to your ex you're still holding on to a karmic relationship here it says fleeting triggers turmoil resentment blessings letting go and loving you spirit is asking you to you know embrace this self-love this you know and to make healthy choices here um in your love life and in in life in love and in life and self-love self-care and being happier choosing you uh sagittarius if you are a divine masculine But again, I do see uh, wedding rings here as well. So we have the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. Wow. Walking away from toxic relationships because we have the Devil card. Walking away from um, toxic relationships and slowly but surely investing your energy, um, doing the study, doing the work required um, in order for you to embrace this new opportunity, this new path. As it says here, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith because we have calling in your soulmate and twin flames here. So you're releasing that old relationship, ascending to. Uh, the next level here with the two of wands releasing the old relationship here with the ten of wands releasing that burden dropping that burden no longer feeling overwhelmed or allowing yourself to feel overwhelmed and moving forward um here with the knight of swords quickly because as it says here when you accept uh, once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform and so that's the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is the automatic of quick energy, of uh, of uh, you know uh, communication coming in, and that communication is you needing to make healthy choices and express and, and uh, utilizing self love, putting yourself first, and then you know come followed by the Six of Wands, which is victory. You know you're going to achieve victory once you do that. You know, being able to release and drop your guard, your guard, your drop your defenses, drop your guard, release. You know, let your guard down, and know that it is safe for you to love. As we have here, um, the Seven of Swords with the Tower. Okay. You are finally coming into the knowledge that you've been deceiving yourself. And you're allowing this that tower to fall. You know, you're releasing your ex. You're releasing the past, okay? Right? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace the new possibilities. You know, it says lying to you is just easier. But spirit, you know, you're, you're releasing that. You're no longer deceiving yourself. And you're allowing the tower to fall so that you can receive what you need. We're here with the boat part, receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues. You're no longer allowing, you know, that to hold you back. Wow, wow. And then the bottom of the deck we have the ace. The ace of cups. Self-love. Okay. The the revelation that you've had that is breaking down that the self-deception is self-love you are wanting your heart to sing your heart and your soul to sing with joy and then we have this queen of swords energy here uh, which i feel could be your ex coming in because the queen of swords energy came out in capricorn reading um, 
But this could be, again, as I felt in the Capricorn reading, you cutting out those things that are stopping you. And in this case, we have the, with the Queen of Swords being followed by the Four of Pentacles, is you no longer holding back your true feelings and how you feel and are not is not allowing unrequited love to happen anymore because you perhaps weren't telling truly divulging how you truly feel to your divine feminine or to your divine masculine um could be vice versa not truly allowing uh yourself to divulge how much passion you have for this person how much love you have for this person um which is allowing you to uh, again, balance out those energies and to heal here with the Four of Swords. Wow. Followed by the Knave of Chalices, which is the Page of Cups. With you going into this healing energy, truly accepting your heart and soul's uh, desire, allowing it to heal, opening your heart to give and receive uh, the highest energy of all. You are healing here. You're going to receive a blessing allowing you to move forward beyond indecision yes with the five of source energy being reversed no longer in the energy of mental confusion no longer uh, being out of balance but surrendering to divine timing and utilizing emotional intelligence allowing you to stand your guard um, and to stand your ground and releasing a third party relationship perhaps here and then the queen of pentacles come up here and truly seeing that this queen of pentacles wow and then the king of wands this is your energy again with the queen, with the queen of pentacles uh, you're uncovering a new uh, a new beginning a passionate new beginning with a queen of pentacles allowing you again to overcome the past which is probably full of abandonment here with the five of pentacles allowing you to no longer worry about you know cry over spilt milk and be in this nine of swords energy but healing here with the hair front followed by the king of pentacles being grounded having that grounded energy in ascending here um completing this karmic relationship learning the karmic lesson and moving into the energy of healing here with the six of chalices followed by the high priestess following your intuition going into the sun card yes you know the it says your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time why because your person could be the high priestess you know she could be a tarot card reader she could be a very spiritual person it does say she's calling in her soulmate with her pri with her prayers, affirmations, and visualizations. Like, she's very powerful, but the sun is behind her. Happiness, joy, success, and the four of wands, okay? Followed by the lovers. Are you kidding me? And the wedding. And, and then we do what have wedding rings here on the divine feminine side. The four of wands followed by the lovers. And then the knave of wands followed by the ace of swords. And followed by the ace of pentacles. Are you serious here? Releasing, wow, this releasing mental conflict and, and uh, all the, the past, releasing that and moving into your destiny here with the will, moving past chaos and confusion. There's information coming in, movement coming in, and you're moving past that in, into this energy of love. And then, because we have the king of chalices here, um, energy of love followed by the two of chalices, which is you know um those that soulmate relationship followed by the strength card wow the strength card you know that this relationship is destined it's clear to you with the king of source energy it's clear to you that it's time for you to take this leap of faith it's clear to you that there's no competition that can hold up to your divine feminine or your divine masculine and so you're moving forward here and making things right with the knight of chalices with the knight of cups to you know you know to, uh, to bring about harmony and union within your relationship with your divine with your high priestess okay taking the the moves that you need with the knight of pentacles to bring it in to 
uh, past relationships, uh, releasing your ex so that you can move into this abundant relationship with your empress here coming up and the judgment followed by behind the empress. Like you are deciding, you know that who you want and your ships are coming in, you know, here with the emperor card coming right up after the three of wands. It says the energy coming in, the emperor energy, okay? You're calling in your queen of wands here. And that's going to bring you guys into this 10 of pentacle energy, which is justice. You invest in the time and the star in your life, moving you to karma waters and helping you to receive enlightenment. You guys are going to be working together, bringing about wish fulfillment. Like, I'm just keep, I'm going through all of these cards. The energy is beautiful. The energy is beauty. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to end it there because my time is running. <laughs> and it's my my camera uh, my phone will start a whole another video and I have to do editing and all that so let me just shut up guys I hope they helped in some way shape form or fashion um, if you like the reading please like share and subscribe um, all the information will be in the description box below um, yeah I love you all if you want a personal reading, my email will be in the inbox below too. If you would like to donate to the channel, my cash out will be in the, the description box below. I love you all. Until next time, peace.